For each of the products that you decide to make, you will need to do an evaluation. This will tell the examiner which product you've made, why you made it, how you changed it and also a critical evaluation as to how it went. It's okay to say things might not have turned out well as long as you can give a reason on how you could improve it next time. So to start off, when you did your design ideas you looked at lots of different ways to change a product. What you need to do now is to think, look at those ideas and to decide which ones you need, you're going to go with. So if we look at this example here on the apple pie, they have drawn it out and annotated and said which, how they're going to actually make their product this time. They've also annotated it relating to some research that they've, they've done, also the design specification and also the design task. This then clearly explains what they are making. They've also included a photograph of the final product, which is important to include because that is evidence that you have made it. You will then need to explain why you made that product and why you brought it forward. So on this example you can see here, they haven't included the drawing to say how they've changed it. So that would imp have improved this evaluation in front of you. But they have included, included why they have made the product. Also on this one they have also included why they chose to make the treacle tart. Once you've done that you will then need to talk about and discuss the functions of ingredients. This is your chance to show your knowledge of why you've used the ingredients that you chose to use. The other thing you'll need to include in your evaluation is quality control. This is an excellent example as they have shown uh, use of pastry rollers, a lattice cutter as all, and also blind baking. So if you can, you can take pictures to include in your evaluation that does help and act as evidence for your product.